Hello everyone, welcome to Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I am making a harvest booklet today for my Thanksgiving dinner table and I hope that you will join me. For this project I will be using this paper pad that I found at Michael's. It says Autumn Dreams and it does have some really beautiful papers. So let's do a quick flip. All autumn, fall, harvest appropriate. So pretty. So I went to use this and then I also dug out all the um, fall, harvest, autumn stickers that I could find. So just go through your box and pull out everything that you would like to use. And uh, just have those on hand in case you need them. You know, grab whatever you need. I will also be using my paper trimmer, um, a scoring tool, and you know, your basic tools, just have them close by in case you need them. The first thing I want to do is pick some paper. I think they have a really, really cute um, paper in here. Um, you know, look at this. Pumpkin. So look at this one. You see, that is really pretty, right? And then I got this one, the maple leaves, a, a wagon full of pumpkins. These are leaves, um, more leaves. Look at this forest. It's all golden. And I like this one, the, the crochet quilt and very pretty scenery here. Got more leaves, and then this one too. I like the scenery down here, and it's very pretty mushroom. I wish I had a smaller image, but I don't. And then this one's kind of cute. I don't know if I will work with that one, but um, I pulled it just in case. And I love that scenery. Oh, this one's pretty too. So I want to cut out some paper. I just want a small booklet to go on my table, you know, so maybe I can do six inches by four, six by four would be really good. And I want to be able to fold it. So I want to make sure I have the appropriate length. I want a six inch length on my booklet so let me turn it this way and I want this top half so I'm going to go ahead and, and trim this down to um, six inches okay so I have my length now at six inches the next thing I want to do is um, I want to pull my book back this way, but I want to um, put in, oh, let's see, I want it three inches, but I want to score like 
one fourth of an inch in between, you know, where the book folds. I wonder if I want maybe this side or the center. I like the center. Let me trim this bit. I need six and one fourth because I want three, three, and then the, the fourth in the center. So six and one fourth. So yeah, let's see if we did this correctly. Okay. Because it's six inches this way is the length, right? So I want my uh, image on the facing down so I need to go to three inches and score that line. Oops. And then move over one fourth and score that line. So now I am able to fold my paper here and there and that creates that little booklet. See? Cute, right? And then six inches, I mean, if I put it on a plate, right, six inches is really cute, right? I think it's good. I don't want to make it too big or too small. I have finished cutting down all my booklets to size. Now I'm just scoring um, the lines. So. Now you don't want to press too hard when you do the folding anyway. So. You don't want to tear your paper, so be gentle when you um, when you fold. There you go. I think these will look really good on the Thanksgiving table. You know, something out of the ordinary, right? And then I um, I can always put the name on the booklet too or you know I can just clip somebody's name on there that way I don't have to try to personalize every single one these are the ones that I chose this you saw me make that one here's the the pumpkin one uh, the red maple leaves and the Golden Horse is a, a mountain scenery. And here's the uh, crochet quilt. There's another forest scenery. And one more scenery. I love these. I love the colors of the tree. They're so pretty. And then, of course, you would... Um, Create as many booklets as you want for however many guests you have at the dining table. Now to take our booklet here, we want to put something inside it, right? Now, uh, if you want to use string to bind your little booklet, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to staple it, you can staple it. You know, the choices are yours. So what I want to do is take these pieces that I cut off. Um, these are leftovers from the um, six inch length. And then it, this way it end up being um, about five and three fourths. So you want to take a bunch of these and and then you also have all the stack right here to work with, right? All the um, the ones that 
um, I didn't cut down. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these down and we're going to use it in this booklet. Once you have all your pieces cut down your 5 and 3 fourths inch by 6 inches, what you want to do is fold these. Now, you can measure it if you like. Or just fold it in half and then find your score board and it's going to end up being at what is this call right here <laughs> oh goodness measurements okay just you know the line between the the three fourths and the three so about right there so I'm going to score them just um, take your whole stack and score them if you want to use your scoreboard that is other than that just you know um, take your paper and start scoring now when you score don't forget you have an up and you know a top and a bottom to your paper um, just because of the way we cut everything now, if you have a solid paper, um, yeah, it probably doesn't really matter, but uh, we just kind of like our image to stay up and down, right? I mean, it would be nice. <laughs> like this one, you can't really tell which is up and which is down, you know. I have all um, my papers cut out and I I did uh, the fold where the image is on the inside and then the background is just white and then I also um, just create an extra paper just grab some paper and then cut it down to size they're not all the same they're just a little bit um, different sizes so um, when I was scoring these, I kind of separated by threes, so I didn't have the same image twice. So I just stacked it that way. It makes things a little easier. So I'm going to take three of these, and then I'm going to take um, some paper. Um, and here, maybe a couple of different sizes in this one here like this so it so said the image is on the inside like that right I like it so you want to take this and this and um, just kind of center it on the fold of the card stop that way when you bind your booklet you don't have any wonky looking effects so like this right so um, you got the three there now it's okay you don't have to have them all facing inwards you can take one and reverse it if you like like this and then you want to take this and slide it into your booklet like this. So now you're ready to um, bind your booklet together. Again, you can use a string, you can use a stapler if you like. Now if you want to use a string, make sure you have thread and needle. You also want to have some sort of a cheat sheet. Let me see if I have some thin strips left. So I saved these because these make great washies, right? But you can also use this as um, a guide. And grab some scissors here. Just make it the length of your booklet. Then you want to um, create a hole in the around the center portion, so right in there, and then you want another one 
depending on the inserts here you may want to go just a little bit down maybe like an inch so like this and then uh, line your cheat sheet out with the the first line create a a mark there and the center of your fold see like this um, it doesn't have to be accurate if you're not happy with it see how my center is off erase it line the two up erase that one and let's see um, let's move it down a little about right there see like that and go here And then I want to take the whole stack and then align it with the where the holes are. See? See there? Now, another thing you can do, um, if you don't want to eye this thing, again, take your, um, your guide, put it on the inside paper like this. And then you can mark this also, where you want the needle and thread to go. So, and then you want to start with the center of your booklet. So you want to go through. Okay, so take the, the insert. It's a lot easier this way. And then take your needle and thread, go through. See there? And then you want to make sure you have a, a, a tail. Now take this and then go through the cover. You know, whichever method you prefer. It's, um, everybody has their own method. So now you want to go um, down here at the bottom of the booklet. You want to come back up here. So let's see. Again. Um, to come back up. Go through the whole stack if you like, like this. Come back through. And then your thread should tighten like that. Don't pull it all the way through though. Now you want to go take your center thread, move it aside, go back through the same hole, that middle hole. Do not catch that thread. Stay away from that first threading. Go through, see there, and then you want to um, catch that top hold on your booklet and then come all the way through. See, like that. Cute, right? Now you want to take your string, run it under here, catch it there. And then tie that off. Um, put a couple of knots in there. Now you can tie your string on the inside or the outside. It's all preference. You can leave it like this. You can tie it off right here, or you can just let your strings dangle like this. Make it look very cute. Just trim that down. 
There we go. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I like it. So we got a little bit of writing, another um, page writing, and then the end. I like it. Once you have done all this, you can take um, some of the stickers you have, right? Isn't this cute? Like I have this um, 3D sticker here. It has autumn leaves and um, just a cute little decorative thing going on. So I can take this and just add it right in there. Isn't that cute? And then let's see, I can turn a page and I can put something else in here too. Let's see what else that I have. Um, you know, just decorate it till you're happy. Like I have some of these. So well, these would be cute too. These are um, rub on stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're very um, detailed leaves. They're very pretty. I'll take that and stick some there. And then just rub that on. Let me see if I finally got it. There we go. See? That's cute, right? And then there's plenty of space for it to write. And then um, over here, maybe... Um, you can stick like a, well, you know, <laughs> you decorate it the way you want, the way you'll be happy with. Grateful and very thankful. Maybe we can stick one of these in here. Uh, right here. That'll be cute. And again, more, more rubbing. These rubbons take a moment, but you know, they're very pretty once you get it transferred. There we go. Look, how cute. Oh, this is cute, right? Family home. Put that right there. Let's see, did it work? Ha! Huh. Look at that. Cute. And then, um, of course, you would do the rest too. But then, yeah, see how, how pretty that is? I have finished six booklets. Look at this. I love them. They're cute. Nice little. Um, Thank you for coming to Thanksgiving dinner booklet. <laughs> so some of these I did put like little stickers in there, but I left plenty of space for writing. Um, uh, see there. And then, um, and then like some of them, I just did the outside and left them blank on the inside. So, you know, it's all, all preference, right? If you want to put something on the inside or if you want to add a little bit of um, decoration on the inside. But I like them. They're all really, really cute. So what I want to do now is put some ribbon on the outside. I have this ribbon. It is really cute. I picked it up from the Dollar Tree one year and I've had it. Um, in my supply box. So I'm going to trim maybe about 24 uh, inches and I'm going to attempt to make a bow. <laughs> we'll see. So just um, I guess wrap it around here and um, find the length. And then Kind of tie it off like that 
and um, so this is all um, decorated one side the other side is just blank so uh, when you do this you're going to remember to um, twist your ribbon and so when you pull it out on this side you have the decoration also and then right here we gotta remember to twist this one also so like that right and then just pull on the bows um, and fiddle with the bow until you're happy so let's see Maybe something like this and then of course you would um, trim those tails down and, and make them look really cute see like that cute right I like it it gives it a little something special to see it on your plate on Thanksgiving Day So here, look, I have them all tied with cute bow. If you plan on um, making all your ribbons the same, make sure you have enough to cover as many booklets as you're creating. I like them. They're so cute. Now, you can always mix the ribbons also, but I would like the um, matching ribbon on, on my booklets. But they're so cute. Look at this. I hope you like this and that you give it a try. It's going to make your Thanksgiving table very festive. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas, and I will see you next time.